This one got damaged, pushed all the way into the engine cradle. I have a Toyota Camry here. This one got damaged down low and you can see this whole lower tie bar is all shoved way back. Pushed all the way into the engine cradle and and it might be hard to see but it actually folded up the frame rail. Whenever this went up it bent it right here. You'll be able to see that a little better once I get it cut apart. So this one's gonna get a bunch of new structure put in right here. I have a new lower tie bar that I'm gonna put on. Then I have a new frame rail here. You have to buy the whole section of the frame rail, but luckily they have a section procedure to section this in. I'll have to pull up the procedures, but I believe it gets sectioned in right around here. Just that front section. Then I have this new baffle piece, a new frame rail end cap, a couple other little brackets, and this side of the frame rail as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this car in clamps, and I'm gonna make a couple measurements just to see where these frame rails are at as far as within spec. If I need to pull anything to square up those frame rails, I will, and I'll also do a rough pull, just to roughly pull that out, and then I'll start cutting it apart. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and match our measuring system to the vehicle so it knows where the vehicle is sitting. Now it knows exactly where the car is sitting so I can come up here to the front and make some measurements, make sure this side isn't off and I'm gonna check this side as well. It's actually not very far off with exception to this bottom piece. This is pushed over and up just a couple millimeters. This one is actually just about almost exactly where it needs to be. Whenever this went back, it probably pushed over and up on this frame rail a little, a little bit. So I think if I grab this and pull this out, it'll probably shift that rail back just a little bit, just like I need it to. So pulling this out didn't move this frame rail as much as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this lower tie bar off and get it out of my way. Then I'll grab this frame rail and move it over and down just a few millimeters. And then I'll go ahead and start trimming everything else out.
So I have this frame section sitting on here and I have it measuring out right where it's supposed to be for this back point. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a few tack welds on this just to kind of lock it in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start fitting the rest of the parts up, get everything fit together. I have this frame rail all fit up and measuring out good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this welded in. Then I will prep out and start fitting up my lower tie bar and these side little supports as well. Now I'm gonna do some comparison measurements to make sure this piece is sitting right where it's supposed to. First, I'm gonna check the length. And I'm going straight from this point over to this side. And it's dead on. Now I'm going to do an X to make sure that it's square. That looks perfect. So I just about have this one all welded together. Last thing I have is this bracket that goes right here that this headlight mounts to. So I went ahead and fit up all my parts and I wanted to make sure the headlight was sitting properly and gaps are even side to side, just like it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this headlight back out, get that bracket welded on, and then I will do my seam sealer work and get this one out of the clamps and then I will have our paint department come over and paint all this radiator support and I will go ahead and get the battery and everything back in it and get it mobile again.
I have some cavity wax here. I'm gonna hose inside of this frame rail and all of this lower tie bar area. You can see here, this stuff sprays in a 360 degree pattern and it'll coat all the bare metal inside of there where the welding was.